Well, hey guys. So your fence is completely in and they've got the sod down. And uh, the good thing is right now, they don't have to keep it wet every day. It's good to keep it moist, but basically right now, all that wetness is doing is just getting it to adhere to the ground. The sod's dormant, but if we keep getting a little bit warmer weather, it's gonna start growing. So they got your landscaping in. Let me flip you around. So they got your landscaping in. They got the tree in and they've got your flower beds cut, the bushes in, your door stained, it turned out pretty. Oh, look at those pretty floors. So they gotta get this, this done. Obviously they put the wrong stuff in and replaced it. So that turned out really cute. All right, so there we go. All right, let's move into here and check out the family room. I really like the wood floors. I mean, I gotta tell you, that really looks good. So that turned out nice. That's kind of cool how over here you can see in the backyard. I like that. Cabinets look really good with the backsplash. That turned out pretty nice. Like those gray cabinets against that backsplash. That looks really good. There's the island and your pendant lights. Okay, utility room done. You got the little trails for us to walk on so we don't get your carpet dirty. Let's go look at the shower. That's really cool too. That turned out nice. That's really big. I mean like really big. Nice size closet. So this is just a really cozy floor plan. Every time I walk through y'all's house, I love this more and more. Let's get out here, check out this really cool breezeway. So this is one of the, the neatest little, I don't know, side benefits of this house. So for everybody in YouTube land, if you buy this floor plan, you only get about this much concrete, about half of it. You can pay to get the rest of the concrete poured. And then a lot of people, and see this box over here? So this is where you put your flat panel TV, right? You hang it on the wall, plug your TV in, have access to the networking inside. And then you can sit out here and you can stage and decorate this, right? You've got um, the ability to have your grill out here. You got a TV out here, you can have some chairs. Just a super awesome location. And finally, the garage is clean. That is awesome. So this floor plan, this is just totally cool. I just love this to death. Your fence really looks, looks nice too. They did a good job on that. So see, the coolest thing about this is it's a rear entry. So on this house, you can park your car in here and then kind of as just with a little bit extra money, we got that poured, right? And so now we've got this whole big outdoor patio area. We paid to do the little outdoor TV setup. And so you've got this breezeway out here you can take advantage of, which then leads into the family room. So I am really loving how this turned out. I think it looks great. I really think this common space in here. So let me show you guys. I know that makes you dizzy when I do it. So out there you can see where there's gonna be like, I guess it's sexist to say it's a man cave, but it's gonna be a man cave. 
but you've got the smoker out there. You can have a couple of chairs and a table, have an adult beverage or a glass of sweet tea. You can have your flat panel on the wall. And then in here, you've got the family room. You've got the TV over there and the kitchen and everything. And then you're gonna have an eat-in area. So you're gonna have the ability to have multiple conversation areas when you're entertaining. That is so cool. That is a very, very well thought out floor plan. And for the amount of square footage in here, you guys are gonna pay like very minimal on taxes. Cause in Texas, remember we always pay per square foot that's heated, ventilated and air conditioned. So that stuff out there in the breezeway, it's just a small amount of taxes just for basically the dirt. I love this. I think this is such a gorgeous little house. I love this, love this, love this. And it turned out in such a neat location in the back of the neighborhood on the Greenbelt. All right, guys, may God keep and bless you and cause his face to shine upon you. Till we meet again, and call me if you need me for anything before we close.